In this video, we're going to look to find these vectors here using uh, position vectors. So it says the points A, B and C have coordinates 5 minus 2, 4, 9, minus 3, 4, respectively. Find the vector AB, the vector BA and the vector AC and the vector CB. Now, for all this to work, we have to let O be the origin, the point zero, zero. And therefore, vector OA will be, writing these as a vector, 5 minus 2. So that's a vector from the origin to a particular point A. Vector OB will be the point 4, 9. And the vector OC, from the origin to C, will be minus 3, 4. Now these are called position vectors. The vectors are relative to a particular point, in this case, the origin, the point zero, zero. Now that now allows us to find the vectors A, A B and B A and A C and C B without actually drawing a diagram. So A B is the same as going from the point A back to the origin, so that's the vector A O, from the origin to the point B. Right, here we got the vector OA, but here I need to find the vector AO. That means that the vector AO is going to be minus 5 plus 2. And then the vector OB is going to be 4, 9. And therefore I can add those together. So I'm going to get minus 1, minus 5 plus 4, and 2 plus 9, which makes 11. Now, to find the vector BA, because I got the vector AB, this is uh, vector AB, but in the opposite direction. So all I need to do is put a minus sign in front of this uh, vector. So that becomes minus uh, AB, which is minus minus 1, 11, which gives me an answer of 1 minus 11. Now I need to find the vector AC, and I can do that by doing A to O plus O to C. Well, I've got the vector OA, so I'm going from the A to the origin, and from the origin to C. So the vector AO is going to be in the opposite direction of this one, so it's going to be minus 5 plus 2, and then I'm going to add to it OC, which is uh, minus 3, 4. So minus 5 plus minus 3 makes minus 8. And then 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. In the last case, I got to find the vector CB. So CB can be found by doing C CO. So from the point C to the origin and then from the origin to B. But here I have the vector OC. So I need to change the signs on these. So it's going to be 3, minus minus 3, minus 4, plus OB, which is 4, 9. And then 3 plus 4 is 7, and minus 4 plus 9 is 5. Now that's finding those vectors without actually drawing any diagram, which is preferable because when we did look at vectors in 3D, it's quite difficult to draw the diagram. But let's see now, by drawing the diagram, why this works. So you've got OA is uh, 5 minus 2, OB is 4, 9, OC is minus 3, 4. So drawing a set of x, y axes, marking them on the point A. So A is 5 along, 2 down. OB is going to be 4 along, 9 up. That's there. And OC is going to be 3 along, and then 4 up, which is going to be over here. Right, let's just take the first case. Now, the vector AB is this one. In our, uh, when we did this, we got an answer for AB to be minus 1, and then up 11. We can see that's true. Back 1, and then up 11. How did we calculate it? Um, sorry, and BA would be along 1 and down uh, 11. But how did we calculate this AB? We went from A to the origin. So that's AO. And then from the origin to B. 
And what we did is that we added those two vectors and then we said that's the same as AB. So this is a very, very important concept. And if you learn this, then you don't have to actually draw any diagram to calculate the uh, vectors. AC was that vector, and we can see quite clearly that that is back 8 and up 6, like we got in our answer in the previous part. And we also had to calculate uh, vector C to B, which is going to be 7, 5. So again, that's along 7 and up 5. But remember, we could have done C to O, and then from O to B. All right, so basically we have to do negative the, uh, negative the first one and add the second one. This is a very, very important concept. So please make sure you study this and understand it clearly. And I thank you very much for watching.